A civil war in Syria, rampant terrorism in Mali, a famine in Yemen. What happens when you add climate change, a global threat not limited to a single country, into the mix? What happens to the daily lives of everyday people as natural disasters intensify, harvests are disrupted, lakes dry up, and infectious diseases spiral out of control? Approaching climate change through a human security lens requires redefining what we believe to be traditional threats, but makes us realize we all have one common enemy, our own actions. Climate change poses a number of threats to entire communities. It will threaten individual livelihood, culture, and even political stability. According to the proceedings of the United States National Academy of Sciences, 393,000 battle deaths are to be expected by the year 2030 in sub-Saharan Africa alone if global temperatures continue to rise. And the International Organization for Migration estimates that 250 million people will be displaced globally, creating a wave of climate refugees affected by floods, hurricanes, the list goes on. While a bleak picture has been painted, there is hope to be found in the fact that a multitude of countries have already identified climate change as a threat to humanity. Both the European Union and the United States recognize the importance of analyzing the implications of climate change as a security threat. In fact, the EU was the first international body to recognize the nexus between the two in 2008. The U.S. followed suit in 2010, stating in their Quadrennial Defense Review that climate change is an accelerant of instability or conflict. As early as 2013, the American Security Project released a Global Security Defense Index that analyzed how individual governments around the world and their militaries were planning for the strategic threats that would come due to the effects of climate change. At the time, over 70% of the world's countries recognized that this issue necessitated a national security response. In Europe, the human security question is approached from a variety of perspectives, but two of the most important focus on counterterrorism and migration. France, for example, has been very concerned with terrorism from both a domestic and foreign policy perspective. It has been fighting insurgencies like Boko Haram, and is very concerned with how climate change will continue to exacerbate the fight for natural resources in various regions of Africa. In the United States, under the Biden administration, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin stated that the Department of Defense would incorporate climate risk into modeling, simulation, wargaming analysis, as well as the next national defense strategy. Globally, while countries have identified climate as a security threat, there still exists discomfort in using the term to coincide with a cohesive defense strategy. The transatlantic relationship is pushed to challenge labels of traditional security, with many clinging to the statement that climate change should be simply categorized as disaster response. What people must realize is that the reality is more complex. Climate change is equally emergency preparedness as it is humanitarian aid, as it is national security. A whole-of-society approach is needed in order to combat this global challenge. 